Now many are calling on lawmakers to begin putting in the work to change policies and enforce new legislation. Zaria Oates is here with what the current laws look like and the changes Tennesseans want to see. Zaria. Pepper, this latest mass shooting sparking the debate over gun control and various gun laws, especially here in Tennessee. House Democrats calling on Republicans to introduce bills banning assault weapons and requiring background checks, while Republicans say the main issue is the suspect's mental health, not guns. There are multiple bills currently making their way through Tennessee legislature focusing on the Second Amendment, many of them loosening gun restrictions. The one causing some of the most controversy would drop the age of those who can open carry any firearm without a permit from 21 to 18. The bill cleared the Senate Judiciary Committee just last week and now heads to the Finance Committee, which could be the last stop before it goes to the Senate. And the bills in the Tennessee legislature aimed at gun safety seem to not be making any progress despite outcries from the public to better protect children in schools. One Senate bill requiring people to obtain enhanced or concealed handgun permits to carry a handgun in certain counties has already failed in the Senate Judiciary Committee. Another bill that failed would have punished people who sell, lend, or give guns to people who are not allowed to have them legally. As bills continue to make their way through the legislative process, prominent groups like Moms Demand Action and Every Town for Gun Safety continue to push back. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee responding to Monday's shooting, prompting responses from various Memphis state senators. There'll come a time to discuss and debate policy but this is not a time for hate or rage. That will not resolve or heal. Can we demand good policy? Yeah. Enough where we want policy change. Tennessee State Senator Ramesh Akberi responding on Twitter saying prayers are good, but faith without works is dead. Local lawmakers aren't the only ones responding to Tennessee's relaxed gun laws. State Representative Tim Burchett of Knoxville adamant about his stance on the issue, saying in part, we're not going to fix it. If somebody wants to take you out and doesn't mind losing their life, there's not a whole heck of a lot you can do about it. President Biden has once again renewed his calls for gun control and has expressed his frustration with congressional inaction. Pepper. Daria, thank you. Well, right now on ABC24.com, we have the phone numbers, emails, and mailing addresses for your Tennessee lawmakers. Look for them in the now section or ABC24.com slash now.